this is Mike with the Board Game Makeover. In this week's episode, this is part two of a five-part series of Games on a Plane. And this week, I'm going to show you how I was able to play Pandemic on a plane with a friend. Let me show you what I did. I gave Pandemic a board game makeover so it would fit into my board game travel box of fun. I downsized the game board map and the cards, but used the rest of the original components in this game. I replaced the plastic infection cubes with these nice metal cubes I found online but discovered that they were not attracted to magnets. One of the things I try to do is streamline the number of components needed for the game by creating a single component that will replace multiple components, yet continue to be as effective and useful as the original components. One idea was to replace the infection markers with the dice from Monster Procolip using the different symbols on the dice to show the current infection in that city. But a better idea is to use a D4 die for each city, changing the number as the infection changes. I found some miniature figures from an old clue game Game and use them instead of the pawns. The cards were printed at a smaller size to fit the smaller game board. Overall, Pandemic provided a perfect opportunity to become an excellent travel game. Well, that's part two of a five part series of Games on a Plane. Last week was Room 25, this week, Pandemic. I would like to know if you've ever played a board game on a plane, and if you have, which one? I'd also like to know if you had a board game to play on a plane. Would you play it? Lots of people have iPads, they bring those on the plane, they play games, and that's great, but it's not the same as a board game. The social interaction between you and a friend is much more valuable if you're playing an actual board game than if you're just playing on your iPads. So I would like to know your thoughts on that. So thanks for watching the Board Game Makeover. We'll see you next time.